hali imesalia kuwa tete katika eneo la Kapedo kaunti ya Turkana huku idara ya usalama ikianzisha operesheni yake operesheni hiyo inalenga kuwakamata wahalifu waliohusika na uvamizi na pia kumuua afisa wa GSU hapo jana haya najiri huku waziri wa usalama Fred Maitiangi akiongoza mkutano wa kiusalama hapa jijini Nairobi na kama anavyotuarifu mashirima kapombe baadhi ya wakazi wameanza kutoroka makwao wakihofia usalama wao Hali imesalia kuwa tete katika vijiji vya Kapedo, Ameyan, Adoketia, Adome, Center na Lyon katika kaunti ya Turkana ambapo operesheni ya polisi ya kuwasaka wahalifu inaendelea. Walinda usalama wanatumia ndege na magari ya kivita kushika doria. Kile kilichoanza kama uhasa wa jamii mbili wiki iliyopita kilisababisha kuteketezwa kwa nyumba zaidi ya ishirini na watu mia mbili kukosa makao. Peter alipoteza mali yake yote. Watulikuwa na Kapedo, hatujui tuko wapi. Sisi ni watu ni sisi ni wanakenya kweli. Sisi ni wanakenya kweli. Huru kweli anatujali. Ikiwa tunapigwa kila siku. Mwenzake Alfred Ouko alinusurika kifo nyumba yake ilipoteketezwa, lakini amesalia na makovu. Alia vile niliungua. Nikijaribu kwa kwa watoto yangu na Mungu akakuwa mkubwa nikajaribu kutoka nao na nimekosa vile hata nitaenda hospitali haitijapona sababu hospitali haifikiki hata huko walifunja funja mauaji ya afisa mkuu wa GSU Emadao Temako Jumapili yamechochea ghadhabu ya wizara ya usalama our senior police officer was murdered there was no conflict it was a clear case of a premeditated planned ambush that was targeting our deputy director of operations Waziri wa Usama Daktari Fred Matiangi akisisitiza kuwa operesheni hii itakuwa mwanzo wa mwisho wa utovu wa usalama wa mara kwa mara eneo hilo. And there is a culture in that part of our country which seems to protect a negative and criminal armament that disguises first of all as card wrestling but in actual fact it is funded and I want to say this it is funded. We are in hot pursuit of certain people including leaders. I want to assure the country on this particular score we are going to act very decisively and then by the time we are done with what we are doing there it will be a story to be told in generations to come when there will be no such violence in that place Uhasama wa hivi punde kati ya jamii za Turkana na Pokot umesababisha hasara kubwa mbali na afisa mkuu wa GSU aliyeuawa watu watano walijeruhiwa na kusafirishwa kutoka eneo hilo mamia ya watu wakiripotiwa kuhama makwao kwa hofu ya kuathirika zaidi kwenye operesheni hiyo ya kiusalama shule tano katika eneo hili pia zimesalia kufungwa wananchi sasa wametakiwa kushirikiana na maafisa wa usalama kwenye operesheni hiyo ambayo haitamsaza yeyote hata viongozi wanaokisiwa kuwa wahusika wakuu Mashirima Kapombe Runinga Citizen